It's a test flight, and so we need to fly the vehicle to see what we can learn in the actual application of the mission. The wheels are turning. The first step back to the moon is underway for NASA's first Artemis flight. This time, there won't be anyone on board, but looks can be deceiving. That's Commander Moonkin Campos, a suited mannequin that will provide data on what crews may experience during flight. His seat outfitted with two sensors to record acceleration and vibration through the mission. And here are his two female counterparts, two mannequins named Zohar and Helga, that will test radiation in space. They are made of material that uh, probably the ballistics type material that's the, the same size and feel of an average uh, female. Zohar will be decked out in a protective vest while Helga won't. The experiment hopes to better understand the effects of radiation on the human body, especially on women whose bodies are more vulnerable to the impacts of deep space. They both have over 3,000 instruments measuring the effects of, of radiation and the, to validate that that, rat, that radiation shield is going to do what we've designed it to do. And NASA says the goal is to maximize how much we can learn on this mission, a trip that costs roughly $4 billion. We're live at Kennedy Space Center, Lena Shirazi, Fox 35 News.